to wrap up the discussion about debugging and programming practices, let's talk about some of the challenges which we haven't addressed till now. Uh, dealing with non-reproducible bugs will require innovation on uh, your behalf because uh, again if they are not reproducible there is something in the domain and the system that you are dealing with which is causing that abnormality and you will have to uh, introspect and dive deeper to figure out a way to solve certain problems. Uh, the next one is debugging tools like strings. So uh, strings are again dynamic in nature, their allocations are different from the normal plain old data types and it can lead to a very confusing set of uh, scenarios where a particular language translation or a byte cache string is causing a problem but a normal scenario doesn't cause that problem or something is getting corrupt unknowingly and so it becomes very language dependent certain times. So uh, again strings are something which can throw you uh, off a, in a, a very confusing spiral of uh, debugging. So always beware of su uh, such scenarios. Try to be uh, as aware around these situations as possible so that they don't get uh, taken lightly and the uh, root cause is missed. And the final one is uh, dealing with other people's bug was, is and will remain difficult because uh, it, again it's a broken communication right the original author intended something to happen and then uh, you are reinterpreting their code and trying to reverse engineer what they were thinking and um, as we have been discussing throughout this course that a uh, lot of programming practices get compromised in a, a hurry to ship and this uh, communication breakage tends to emanate from that kind of uh, a rush to ignore programming practices. So there is really uh, very little you can do in these kind of scenarios. You just have to fight your way through it and uh, that's what makes you a better programmer. So as they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well these are three examples uh, which will make you a stronger programmer.